it is so hot in this room right now so we're just gonna pretend that this is all highlight and not sweat um yeah this is some more highlight just a little bit of sweat added in as well today i just thought i would do a clothing essentials video because i make a lot of fashion videos and i thought i would just show you the items that i consider rather essential obviously these aren't essential essential but they're the clothes i reach for a lot and that i style a lot of outfits around so yeah i dug through my wardrobe it was very hard i have a lot of clothes um i do need to clear it out because it's just it's built up and i'm a, I'm a mess um, so yeah i picked out 10 items one jacket three tops three jumpers and three pairs of trousers that all adds up to 10 um, and yeah they're just my clothing essentials and I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna start with tops and my first essential is a good striped top I just don't really think you can go wrong with stripes they're just so easy to style so simple so timeless I think I've had this one for about two years but I've got other striped tops that I've had for longer and other ones that I've bought more recently I just think they're constantly in style so you really can't go wrong and it's a little bit more exciting than just a plain top so yeah essential number one so my next essential goes back a little bit on what i just said because i did sort of slate plain tops for not being exciting but here we go plain red top this one's just from brownie melville but you can get plain tops from pretty much anywhere um i just really love the color and style and fit of this one i just think it looks really nice and again like the striped one it's pretty timeless so you're probably going to have something like this in your wardrobe for years so my last top essential is a little lace cami top this one's just from brandy melville but i also have a black one from urban outfitters um some people might think they look like pajama tops and my one from urban outfitters is actually a pajama top um, but i just really like wearing them out and i think they're a really simple way to give quite a girly sort of flirty look to your outfit um, if you watch me you'll probably know that I don't wear too many stereotypically girly things um, like I still think I look nice um, but I don't wear typically feminine things but I think this is just a really easy way to have quite a cute but simple outfit so yeah cute moving on to my essential jumpers my first one is just a plain black one from urban outfitters i think it is actually cheap monday but i bought it in the sale because i wouldn't pay full price for that um but i just think it's really good to have a plain black jumper because they can be thrown over everything you can't really mismatch black clothing um so yeah it's also made out of this really nice material that makes it a little bit more interesting than a plain black jumper um i can't remember what this material is called though it's got a specific name but yeah i just really like it it's soft comfy stylish you got it my next jumper essential is just a plain colored jumper so I picked out this one from Brandy Melville, which is just a pale pink colour. Um, I basically picked it out for the same reason I picked a plain top as one of my essential tops. Um, because they're just easy to style, really simple, you can't really go wrong. And I also picked this one out because it's the softest thing and it's just so comfy. Um, so yeah, I think for me, comfort is a massive thing when it comes to fashion. Then my last jumper essential is just this sport stripe one from Pull and Bear. Um, I basically wanted to pick out a pattern jumper as an essential and this is my most understated pattern jumper because I have some pretty out there ones. It's just really easy to style and it's also not too heavy because some jumpers are quite thick and heavy which is great for winter but sometimes you just want a light jumper to throw on in summer and I feel like this fulfills that. So moving on to my essential trousers, my first pair are my trusty blue mum jeans which I've had for years and years now and I still basically live in them. The only thing is I bought them in a size 8 and I've never been a size 8 in my life so I always have to wear a belt with them which is a little bit annoying especially as my belt is hanging on by a thread um but yeah i really like them easy to style i feel like that's a massive factor with me and fashion like it has to be easy to style and comfortable um but yeah i just really like them i much prefer them to my black mum jeans i don't know what it is about my black ones i just feel like they 
squish me in and just give me no shape at all. I think it's like a mixture of the colour and the style because they're a slightly different style mum jean. Um, but these are actually quite flattering even though they're quite baggy. So yeah, blue mum jeans, essential. So my next essential trousers are these pleated ones from Urban Outfitters. They don't necessarily have to be from Urban Outfitters but just pleated trousers in general. Again, they're really easy to style. The only thing I don't like about them is that they can look a little bit harsh when paired with some things. Like I tried to wear them with my orange jumper and it just looked really harsh and odd. But I think when you wear quite like a dainty top with them, they look really good. And yeah, they're just really comfortable and easy to style. And I already said that. And then my last essential trousers are these ones from Brandy Melville. I really, really love the style of these, which is why I've now got three pairs in different patterns. But I just find that this pattern easiest to style because it's the most simple. Um, yeah, like my other essentials, they're just comfortable and easy to style and simple and cute. So for my last essential, I decided to pick out a jacket and I picked out my denim jacket because I feel like out of all my jackets, it's the easiest to style. This one's just from Pull and Bear and it's a couple of years old now, but I still wear it to death. Um, I am thinking of ironing on a couple of patches just to jazz it up a little bit, but yeah, I just think really simple, really easy, like all my other essentials. So that's all for this video. I hope it wasn't too repetitive. I feel like for a lot of the essentials, I basically just said that they were simple and cute and easy to style and comfortable, but that's basically why they were my essentials. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit more into my wardrobe and yeah, I'll see you again soon. That'll do donkey, that'll do.